Welcome to our lecture online. Now let's do this application problem that applies the concept of factoring by grouping. And what we're trying to do here is find the area of the shaded region, which means we're going to find the area of the square and subtract from that the area of the circle, and that should give us the difference, the area of the shaded region there. So that means that the area of the shaded region, I'll write it a sub sh, is equal to the area of the square minus the area of the circle. Now the square has equal sides or sides of equal length, so let's call that s and s, so the sides are length s. That means that the area of the shaded region is equal to s times s or s squared minus the area of the circle, which would be pi times the radius squared. Now we can see here and realize that when we take the radius from there to there, that's exactly equal to half s. So s would be 2 times r, which means that this would be 2 times r multiplied times 2 times r minus pi times r squared, or this can be written as 4r squared minus pi r squared. So this is the area of the shaded region. And then you can see that we can actually factor out a common factor. And in this case, we only have one group. Notice that in this group of two terms, we, it contains the variable r squared in both terms. So that means we can say the area of the shaded region is equal to r squared times 4 minus pi. Or sometimes 4 minus pi would be written first. So we can then say that the area of the shaded region is equal to the quantity 4 minus pi times r squared. And that's how we do that. Again, the grouping technique and the factoring technique where we pull out common factors is very common in all kinds of applications such as this one. And that is how it's done.